Right, in this video I'm going to try and talk you through setting up the Land Rover dash cam using the app. So you launch the app, um, wait for it to load, and then it will join the Wi-Fi network and it allows you to join, which is basically joining to the camera and then you'll have to confirm that when it pops up. There it goes. Right, and then the first thing we'll look at is the Wi-Fi connection. You haven't got a lot of options here. There's the ID for the Wi-Fi, and you can change it from 5 gigahertz as a drop down to go to 2.4. The next thing is the record. And this is where you can set how it records and when it records. So when you're driving, you can set whether it's only on the G sensor or whether it's recording all the time. I don't know what sports mode is, uh, but we'll set that to standard. The next thing is parking mode and this is how it records when it's parked up you can have it off or we've so this means that it's only recording when it sees a radar of something approaching or it's got a bump the next one is channel which is quite simply which cameras you want recording you've got front and rear the driving g sensor is quite an interest if you set this one too sensitive then every time you go over a bump it'll go beep recording which you don't want especially if you're doing any off road driving right the next one is the parking g sensor so this is how sensitive while the car is parked we've sent that to medium and the last one is the radar sensitivity um, again that's to do with parking really we've set that to high so you'll have to click apply that takes a minute it will save all that and it'll actually so it restarts your camera you'll have to join to the camera again and confirm that and then when it's done that, we'll start to go and have a look at some of the system, the system settings, sorry. Um, so in the system, there's not a lot of settings. GPS you can set, I don't even know what this means, but you can add gloss NAS or GPS or both. Um, I don't know what the safety LED does, but you can toggle that on and off. And the key illumination, again, I'm not sure what that does. You've got automatic or dark or bright. You can turn the voice down a bit because she gets a bit annoying. And there's also an option here to format the card if you want. Um, and then you can well, apply those settings first. And then actually if you look at the format of the card um, and it'll delete all your data. We didn't do it, we just click cancel. But just to show you that's where you can format the card. Right, let's go and look at the overlays. So this is the overlays that appear on the recordings with the date, time, position, speed. So they're quite useful to have. Um, and then lastly the recording options so this is basically whether you record the microphone or whether you're recording driving data both of which are useful so when you've done all of that you can go back and then we can start to look at some of the live view footage um, obviously you can't do this when you're driving or it times out and you can toggle between front and rear camera there quickly double click and you'll get the full screen view right and if you click on the information there's not really a lot there so we go back back again and then let's look at parking events so this is basically recorded data now we haven't got any recorded here but at the bottom you can see you can go between all the data files the driving data the parking data and any pictures stored it i think it takes a picture when it gets a g-shock um that's actually the same data you get if you go to dash cam recordings this other way you see at the bottom there you've got all driving parking um, it's all the same data it's just a different way you can select a file and you can download it obviously from the dash camera into your phone and then you can use the app on the phone to actually view the footage um, so if you go back and go downloaded recordings you can double click on that one there and then you can see it will play it if you tap it you'll get it full screen and notice you've also got front and rear camera so it's sort of one file with both things added there so that's about it interesting to note there's no resolution change you can't change it to high res or low res um, but that's all the settings you've got that i could find